Greetings and salutations. How's everybody doing? So, like, so, so I've been wanting to talk about this while after I saw it. So today's video is film review, or is on the film Spiral. It's the most newest film in the Saw franchise, um, and also a spin-off, Spiral from the Book of Saw. Um, it has returning director Dar Darren Lim Bousman. He directed the th second, third, and fourth films. Um, it's written by Josh Stolberg and Peter Goldfinger. The cast includes Chris Rock, Max Mingel, Min Mingel, Ming, Hello, Marcella. Nicholas and Samuel Jackson. Since so uh, Chris Rock played Detective Zeke Banks, Max Mingo played Detective William Shank, Marcel Nichols as Captain Angie Garza, and Samuel Muller Jackson as Marcus Banks. So, um, basically, the whole gist of the plot of the film was. A copycat killer, a copycat jigsaw copycat is going around, um, targeting cops. And I've got to say, it's a good thing this film didn't come out during the time of, um, during the times of George Floyd. Mostly just because I feel like, say, if the, um, if the news organizations like Fox News had caught their, had caught their attention, my gosh, this film would have been, like, say, Someone like say Sean Hanty or one of those ever guys, they would probably say, "Can you believe the goal of this film? To, like you know, doing this stuff." And I'm just, I'm just saying. And compared to the other films, although um, this film is not as gory as the other previous films, but at the same time. It's still pretty intense with its, you know, its ideas and all it's trying to do. And, um, compared to the other films, it's not, like, you know, the film is kind of straightforward. So it's not trying to be, like, say, it's not trying to be confusing or anything like that. I mean, some films aren't confusing, but at the same time, they can't be up their own butts at times. So it's, like, with, with all that. Um, the one, I get, I guess say the one thing I didn't like about this film is compared to some, like, say, Jigsaw, which, one thing I liked about Jigsaw was the fact the film had, was, had a ton better lighting. And in fact, like, I mean, I will give the film that Darren Bowsman the fact that he decided to have a consistent coloring which was in, like, say, reddish and blue tones for the film. Which is good, yeah. Sometimes you can be consistent. However, I will say that I still don't like the fact that at times the film looks like it's shot in Dungeons again. Which mostly just felt like, because, well, or mostly, I just got tired of that. It feels like everything was just shot in Dungeons. And, um, I gotta say, um... So overall, I mean, I kind of enjoyed it. Um, I mean, I'm not trying to say... I mean, at times I'm like, okay, I need to close my eyes because of that. Because mm -mm. some of these, like, moments, all the traps in the film are pretty intense in the fact that, like, yeah, these could, these probably things could probably really freaking happen. And yeah, I feel like that's what the... That's what they plan to do. They probably, like, yeah, if we're... It's always been around for many, many years. Let's actually try to, like, have things that could actually happen. And, um, yeah. Some of the ideas are, like, say... Um, well, you see one of the traps on the chair, so yeah. Um, but I'm gonna go into spoilers now. So, um, I gotta say, I like the film. Um, it's not as awful as some critics are saying. So let's go into spoilers. Um, I kind of like the um, the fact that um, Tobin Bell didn't return. I mean, I like Tobin Bell. I love his voice, and um, he has like such an intimidating presence. I liked the um, the detect like the the new character of uh, the new uh, 
new Jigsaw Cop character, or uh, Detective Shank. Um, and the fact that, you know, the character is kind of charming. He has, like, a, like, you know, like a, kind of, like, when you first see me, you feel like, say, okay, you can trust this face. Um, and yes, I mean, same time, it's kind of obvious, I suppose, because you don't really ever see his other, like, his family or anything like that. So, yeah, it's kind of obvious, like, say, okay, we know who it is. And all that. Um, but yeah, I mean, I kind of liked the film. I thought it was alright. Um, I thought the use, like, like their use of the pig puppet, or the pig cop puppet, was pretty cool. Um, I mean, it's a pretty freaky image. And the fact that, like, it, the puppet is sort of a foreshadowing of the final trap. Um, involving Sam Jackson... And, like, because, like, the pig cop is going to say, he has, like, a gun. And, like, so that, it's kind of, like, a foreshadowing for, like, Marcus's death. Because, like, you know, he, in like, when he, when, um, like, when, I'm trying to think, uh, his son, Zeke, was young, he ended up, he ended up seeing his partner, um, being a dirty cop and kill a innocent man because he was wanting to say, hey, I saw something I should have and all that. So his son, like, sees his dad get killed. And, yeah. It it, it was kind of intense and felt like, say, the, the, the film were trying to be um, relevant. But in the end, the film, saw films have always been trying to be relevant with what's going on in society. Take example, like, say, Saw, what was it? I think Saw, uh, Saw 6. Saw 6, which was the healthcare one, uh, which had, like, a health insurance guy going for the traps. And, yeah, I think it's pretty cool that the instead of, like, just targeting one person is targeting a industry, like a institution, which is police. Heck, I, heck the one, uh, trapped up like i cannot i have to look away i have to cover my eyes was the finger trap and i feel like oh mostly because i was it it made me cringe i was like oh, i can't watch like say because a lot of these traps are pretty like you know like say mm. as i mean i'm just glad that there was no eye traps yeah because i wouldn't be able to do that i wouldn't be able to handle it but, um, I mean, yeah, I mean, some of the traps are connected to some of the crimes that the, these cops warned not to do. Like, say, one of the cops, the hand trap, that was because he had a, a trigger finger. The, um, cop at the beginning of the film, he his, his tongue is done like that because he is willing to testify and all that and, like, lie and all that stuff. Um, uh, Angie Garza's, uh, trap is the fact that she has to, uh, break her, uh, cut her, um, spinal cord. Because, I think it's because, like, say she's been putting her, I think the reason, like, she, they had covered her eyes was because she was putting a blind eye to the corruption. And all that, I guess that's what could be the metaphor for that. Um, and also the, you know, Marcus is dead. Mar uh, yeah, not Marcus. Yeah, Marcus. His whole, I think his whole metaphor is the fact that, you know, his, the, um, the killer, he saw his dad get shot. So they thought, like, you know, um, have him be strung up like a puppet, shoot at, try to act like he's going to shoot at the cops. And then the cops shoot at, at the guy. At the SWAT. So yeah, like, and that, all that. Um, I gotta say, I'd actually be kind of curious of what they would do for a sequel. And, I would, and one thing I would like to see them do, if they're gonna do another Saw film, like, see with this whole idea of 
going after an institution, why not go after, like, say, institutions, like, involving politics, like, say, people in the government, like, say, you know, like, like um, scummy politicians and all that, perhaps. I mean, that would be, you know, like, I don't know, that'd be interesting. I don't know. Trap them, like, for, like, say, have, like, one that has to deal with, like, say, you, you send out a bill for being against something or never like say I, I don't know it, it, I mean I don't know if that could work like you know uh politicians I think the reason it works for cops is probably because you know um like say like the trigger trigger fingers the um but I gotta say the brutal one was the gla the glass in the back one yeah that one was brutal that one was really brutal and I can say Zeke is actually a very smart character, and Chris Rock, my God, he was he did a great job in this film, uh, acting wise with one of his facial moments and all that. Um, I, I gotta say that um, looking back, I gotta say that sometimes like the camera moments where like say the spinning around like that, like, that, that we can you can you can hold it on the subject for a few seconds. Then do your spinning around shots that you like to do, Darren. But, I mean, that's just my feel. I mean, I, I thought the film was good. I mean, they clearly bought Darren back because, well, he did, like, say, two, three, and four. So, he did the first, so the first three, uh, three of the franchise films. I mean, I sort of wish they had brought back the guys who did Jigsaw. Because I actually thought that one was... The most fun. I mean, just because they that one was the most over the top. What with the rain silo and all that. But uh, yeah. I mean, if I'm gonna give this a letter grade and all that, I guess I'd give it uh, I'd give this a, a case around a C, a C or so. Suppose. I mean, it's not great, but is it fun? Is it good? I mean, yeah, it's not bad. But is it? Is it? I mean, I guess the only issue I have with the film is mostly it's technical, say it's lighting, and mostly just the fact some... Well, one thing I also have an issue with, though, is, like, say, the character development between Marcus and his, like, you know, uh, Zeke and his dad, yeah. Mostly just because, I mean, I think they are doing good moments, but if you're only going to do it, do the relationship from flashbacks... I guess that works, but at the same time, it would have been better if we had more moments of, like, say, um, like, you know, the time, like, when they're at the, uh, shop store, or, say, the first time Zeke goes on a, uh, case, and he, and his dad, like, just say, like, I mean, we do have, like, a bit of that, like, say, connection after, um, Zeke gets shot in the back. So, like, his dad's defending him, even, and he's the head of the Force team. So, I mean, so, yeah, I mean, overall, it has that bit of a uh, character development. But I wish there was a bit of more character development between, um, say, Marcus and Zeke, like the father son relationship. And I also wish there was a more of a relationship between. Like, you know, like, how the death of his father affected Shank. The, the, uh, you know, the, the same Shank, you know. So that would have been more co a bit cool, too, to get some more background and all that. And, um, I also kind of wish there was more, like, say, it's, I mean, I guess there is a bit of cliche of, like, you know, the hard-ass, uh, boss with, Angie Garza, and so I mean, yeah, I mean, but so I mean, everyone's just saying, say, you, 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 like saying, you are a tough cookie, no one wants to work with you. Okay, we're giving you a partner. That is, yes, it's just weird. Like, why are you giving a partner if he does not work well for others? But then again, none of it, is the, that whole, uh, precinct is so crooked. Why would he want to work with anyone? But yeah, like they're like shoot like 
like he, like when Zeke is in trouble, he is on his own. He is just yeah, no one wants to work with him because he just turned in his partner who just shot a man defense a defensive man. Because they were trying to like, you know, put make a the streets more safe or something like that. But I mean I like the clip of the uh commentary the film's trying to do. So I mean overall I like what they're doing. I just wish that the film had just done spent more time doing like say character development on relationships. Like say Zeke and his dad or Shank and his father or like how he's they got got to the point of like getting to d become a officer and all that, but you know, like perhaps still in the sequel, which they most likely will be, we will have more development for Zeke and all that, which would be cool because I like the bit of humor that was added for this film, like whether it was the uh uh like. For a uh, force gump, or say the moment where he, he where uh, Zeke is just attack, uh, like go uh, trying to interview, like say interrogate a guy, and he's just like, saying, Hey, hey man, let's, he's taking a selfie. Well, <laughs> but um, uh, but overall, I enjoy, I had kind of at times I feel like say, Okay, this film was silly, it had like a ton of uh, social commentary. I'm going to recommend it, I suppose. But what do you guys think? Do you, have you seen Spiral, the Book of Saw? Put your thoughts in the comments down below. Let me know. And as always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.